Hello, friends, fiends, and fellow YouTubers. Welcome to episode 640 of the Daily Comic and Collectible. Today, the collectible of the day is the Square Enix, Marvel Universe, Variant Bring Arts, Japanese Import, Captain America Action Figure. Introducing their second entry in the Variant Bring Arts Marvel Universe line of figures. This 112 scale figure of the iconic Captain America was designed by the amazing character creator Tetsuya Nomura and is imported from the island of Japan. Cap's burly physique is complemented by the gorgeous metallic red, white, and blue costume and star-spangled motifs, adding a sense of realism to the weight of the armor. This six and a half inch action figure of Steve Rogers features an original look with intricate designs, fine details, and even hand painted deco for a variant look that truly stands out from the crowd. This figure features ultra articulation with close to 30 moving parts for truly advanced posing and displaying in your Marvel collection. Captain America would not be complete without his iconic shield and it comes in two variations, original red, white, and blue, and a gold variant. Not only can they attach to his arms, but they can also be attached to his back or hip, and can even be used in his dynamic poses, like his signature shield throw. Accessories include the Captain America action figure, seven interchangeable hands, two shields, shield parts for his back, hip, and throwing, plus a figure stand. Comes in a collector's friendly window display box and was released by Square Enix. Now, the comic of the day is Marvel Triple Action, Volume 1, Issue Number 32, with a cover date of November 1976. But this is also a direct reprint of Avengers, Volume 1, Issue number 40, with an original cover date of May 1967, with story by Roy Thomas, art by Don Heck, and cover by Don Heck. This story is titled, Suddenly, The Submariner. The story opens with the Avengers returning to their lab after their fight with the Mad Thinker. Suddenly, the Scarlet Witch passes out. Meanwhile, the Submariner goes after a Navy vessel for launching experimental torpedoes at coral reefs in his kingdom. After trapping the sub, he heads to the Navy's base, determined to stop these attacks once and for all. Waiting for Wanda to recover, the Avengers decide to watch some television and see Captain America declaring that he's now working for the Red Skull. A few minutes later, Cap sneaks off from the Skull in order to send the Avengers a message that he's not really working for the Skull and they have to trust him. But in the meantime, since the Skull is back, they had better go and find the Cosmic Cube that the Skull dropped in the ocean the last time he and Cap fought. Leaving Quicksilver to tend to the Scarlet Witch, after commenting that Hawkeye's opinion of Cap has changed since his early days on the team, the remaining Avengers head off in their Astro Car. As they are searching, they discover Namor, who is attacking the naval base, and wonders if he is after the Cosmic Cube. Goliath goes after Namor, but is surprised when Namor flies and defeats him in the air. Then, Hercules and Namor battle, and Hercules gives away the fact that the Avengers are looking for the Cosmic Cube. That gives Namor an idea, and he lets himself get thrown into the water, and he goes and finds the Cosmic Cube, creating a monster, the Amalgam Beast, for the rest of the Avengers to fight so he can continue his duel against Hercules. The Wasp figures out that Namor has turned the cube into a necklace, and she knocks it off his neck. Namor 
runs away beaten when he loses contact with the cube, and it's lost down a crack in the ground, which seals itself after. Sometime later, the Mole Man finds the cosmic cube, but ends up throwing it away, dismissing it for a useless bauble. This story is continued in The Avengers, issue number 41. Geek Fact The damage caused to the Avengers Mansion was caused by the Triumvirate of Terror from Avengers issue number 39, the previous issue. A reference is made about Tony Stark picking up the tab for the damage. Stark, who steals secretly Iron Man at the time, funds the Avengers and has been since Avengers issue number 2 from 1967. Plus, this issue opens with Scarlet Witch still dazed and passing out due to what Hawkeye refers to as a whammy. When Piledriver of the Triumvirate of Terror was able to redirect the Scarlet Witch's hex powers back onto herself. Bonus Geek Fact The Cosmic Cube is an item that can control matter and energy, answering to the will of the sentient beings that use them. They require practice to be used properly, but a skillful user can alter all reality to answer to its thoughts, granting anything they desire. Sentient beings wanting to create a cosmic cube must first generate a force field to open a rift to a pocket of sentient energy created by the enigmatic beyonders, allowing the extra-dimensional energy to filter through the rift. When entering the Earth's dimension, the energies can be held in a matrix, and the force itself would shape the matrix into a perfect cube. It would also provide the cube with its almost unlimited power. The Cosmic Cube's primary ability is wish granting, or rather an extreme level of reality warping. Originally thought to be powerful enough to affect reality on a multiversal scale, it turns out that most of its effects were probably illusionary in nature. However, Dr. Doom still believes that the conquest of a universe is possible with one Cosmic Cube. In fact, Thanos, with the power of the cube, even became one with the universe and managed to defeat the entity Kronos. However, more recently, a cosmic cube was able to effectively cause a multiversal chaos that threatened to destroy the whole Omniverse, merging multiple realities in the process, which was confirmed as canon. The cosmic cube's power has also been shown to nullify the power of multiple cosmic beings simultaneously including the Stranger, Elders of the Universe, and In-Betweener. A cube will eventually develop its own intelligence, commonly influenced by the beings who had manipulated it. Mephisto has postulated that the cubes are host to a semi-sentient will, and that, even in cube form, they can choose how they want to be used and to deny certain wishes. Mephisto also has proposed that a billion sentient universally linked wills could overcome this problem, and that the cubes could be as powerful as the Infinity Gems. Marvel Hostess Heroes Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. In the Spider-Man and the Fly Spider-Man is a prisoner of the villain called the Fly. Wake up, webhead! Just what I've always wanted, to have breakfast with the fly. But what happened? I remember being thrown from the top of the Empire State Building, fly. Now that wasn't nice. But what am I doing here? I'm here to entertain you, web-slinger. Just what I need, a few laughs. <laughs> Don't get trapped in your own network of puns, insect imitator. This is no laughing matter. You'll soon be wiggling and squirming, my spidery friend, when you see what I have in store for you. Wrong, my fly friend. These traps can't hold me, so whatever you have in store, you'll have to sell to someone else. Aha! Come into my parlor, said the fly to the spider. Or was it the other way around?
My spider sense is tingling, but nothing else is moving. I must break this electronic field trap. Somehow. This is serious, my wiry friend and enemy. Let's hear a joke now. Okay, you win. I give up. But first, have a hostess Twinkies. Here, in my utility belt. Delicious hostess Twinkies is the only thing I love. That golden sponge cake and cream filling. Okay, my buzzing godfly, I'm going to swat you like a mosquito. Do what you want, clip my wings, anything, but at least have the decency to let me finish my wonderful hostess Twinkies. Of course, my noble enemy, I dispense justice, but tempered with mercy, and sometimes even hostess Twinkies. You get a big delight in every bite of Hostess Twinkies. And final geek fact. Captain Steve Rogers, also known as Captain America, the first Avenger, was rejected by the U.S. Army during World War II due to numerous health problems. He ultimately volunteered for Project Rebirth, where he received the Super Soldier Serum. Developed by Dr. Abram Erskine. The serum greatly enhanced his frail body to the peak of human physiology. At the Sentinel of Liberty, alongside his best friend Bucky Barnes and the invaders, Rogers and others helped the Allies win the war, but not before he was lost at sea and frozen in ice in the form of suspended animation for decades. He was thought out in the modern age to continue the battle alongside his new allies, the Avengers. Cap is loyal to no politician or government and instead upholds the timeless principles of freedom, equality, and justice of the American dream. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible and I hope to see you again Monday on my birthday. This is Cat Fan Comics Man. And I'll catch you on the flip, baby. Over and out. Out. <laughs>